the minute I realized that I wanted to do film, well, mostly documentary films. I love watching documentaries, all kinds. And one that really like stuck with me was Misrepresentation. That was like one of the first documentaries that made me realize I wanted to do filmmaking and share stories. And just seeing the lack of representation, not seeing myself on screen, that's the reason why I wanted to pursue film. I don't know if it was a specific moment that made me become a filmmaker. I think it was just like an overtime obsession. Watching like all the TV channels I could when I was a kid and all the bonus features on a DVD and realizing that, wow, like this is something, I think I spent so much time on the bus and train. I would just, and during that time, I would always just think about like, or like a new scene would just pop in my head and that would just, enter, instead of having a phone, like that would just be like my entertainment on the bus. The moment I realized I wanted to do film uh, was my senior year of college, actually. I've always pursued film my entire life or just media in general because I love storytelling. We were working on a documentary, actually. It was a, re it was a short documentary. It was like our final project. And this, one I w this was when I was just like, all right, like, this is my last year of college. Like, this is when I figure out, like, do I do this for the rest of my life or do I pursue something else that will hopefully make me money and make me successful, whatever that means. Um, but when we did this documentary, it's called Chula, and it was for one weekend. It was literally the best film experience I ever had. I think the second, like, most prominent point that made me realize this is something that I wanted to pursue was definitely when I worked on my first um, documentary. Like my last, it was my last project in college. Um, and it was about a food vendor in the Bronx and that food vendor happens to be my mom. And what made me realize I wanted to do this was how she saw herself afterwards, how she saw herself on the screen and the way she felt that like just touched me. And like, this is the reason why I wanted to do film. Like I want to make sure everybody gets that feeling of seeing themselves on screen and have, making sure that they are heard and that everybody else understands them. I remember waking up at like four in the morning to have to film this woman make tamales and I was so tired, oh my God, but I was so excited. Like I never really woke up feeling so happy to do something if it didn't have to do with film. I only felt that way because I was doing something that I loved and I knew if I had to wake up and feel happy to do something for the rest of my life and that happened to be film, like that's when I realized like, okay, like this is something that I should do then. I did a lot of Googling and there's a lot of discouraging things that say like, oh, only like six new directors get hired in Hollywood or something. Like so many things that could like discourage me from it but it just made me want to do it even more because it's just, it's so lucrative. I guess like there's this innate desire to like want things that are out of reach that you can't have. And um, filmmaking was something that always felt out of reach that I always wanted to do. The moment when I realized that, hey, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life was when we were shooting in a bookstore in Washington Heights and the actress a uh, really terrific actress walked into the bookstore and I said, action. And we got really, you know, a really great scene. We got it on a one meaning everything worked out in one take. And we did do an additional takes, but there was a moment where my co-director looked at me because I was, he was directing more technically on camera. I was directing more for performance. So that's my theater background played into that. And it was that moment when I called action and the take went well. And my co-director looked at me and he said, how was it? I said, good, let's do another, that's it. 